Food is scarce in the deep sea, so animals have to get creative to snap up any available morsel. Meet Megalodicopia, the predatory tunicate. These tunicates live attached to the rocky sea floor, orienting their cavernous mouth into the currents. Most tunicates are filter feeders. They draw water in through a large oral siphon and use mucus to collect tiny plankton before expelling the water out a second siphon. Megalodicopia takes a more active approach to dining. The oral siphon of the predatory tunicate has evolved into a large pair of lips that quickly closes to engulf larger prey items. This unique anatomy allows Megalodicopia to capture nutrient-rich crustaceans. Many unrelated deep-sea animals have evolved a similar feeding strategy. Jellies, eels, sea anemones, and even a remarkable swimming sea slug also deploy a broad hood to grab a meal. Working with our partners at the Monterey Bay Aquarium, we're learning more about the population of predatory tunicates in our blue backyard. Using Imbari's robotic submersibles, we've mapped where Megalodicopia live in Monterey Canyon. Predatory tunicates are solitary animals, though we sometimes see small clusters in areas where conditions are favorable, like steep, rocky walls. Monterey Bay Aquarium biologists are studying predatory tunicates and even culturing their larvae to understand more about their life cycle. This species grows very slowly, making megalodicopia especially vulnerable to threats like fisheries and mining. Embari research can help resource managers and policymakers set protections for deep sea animals and environments. Our unique partnership with the Monterey Bay Aquarium brings the deep sea to land, allowing visitors from around the world to meet the denizens of the deep face to face. Together, we hope to inspire stewardship of the ocean and all the remarkable animals that call it home. This is Lonnie Lunston with Embari's Video Lab. Follow Embari on YouTube to learn more about the amazing animals of the deep.